Voters are out of the polls this morning as the presidential election is down to its final hours. Joining us right now is Bill Daly. He served as Commerce, Commerce Secretary in the Clinton administration. He was also former President Obama's chief of staff. And Bill, thank you for being with us this morning. Great, it's really good you. to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks. Right, let's talk a little bit about what you think is happening, because uh, just about three weeks ago, you had some commentary, and I think it was Politico, where you said you thought that Kamala Harris was the underdog, that this was uh, former President Trump's to lose in this situation unless things changed in the last three weeks of the campaign. What, what do you think now? Well, I think I, I did believe it was President Trump's to lose, and I think he's done a pretty good job of attempting to accomplish that. The last three weeks have not been good for him, in my opinion. I think that you've seen the momentum, which is much stronger, and I listened to Frank Lunds earlier and some of the indicators, whether it's the senior women, white women who generally vote Republican, uh, maybe going a different way. There's a number of signs at the end. Obviously, it is a divided country. The election will be close. Frank laid out different scenarios, and there's many different scenarios. I would differ with Frank in that I do believe we will know, not that the votes will all be counted. But we'll have a pretty good sense of where it's going uh, much earlier than by Saturday. I think by late tomorrow, or maybe midday tomorrow, there'll be a sense uh, of where it's going either way for President Trump or for Vice President Harris. But I but, think she's got momentum, agree. which is quite important. <clears throat> but you'd agree that we may not know this, not just tonight, but not tomorrow morning at this time? <clears throat> Look at that. I, I think we won't know for certainty. We went five, I chaired Al Gore's campaign in 2000. We went five oh, weeks not knowing exactly who was going to be the president of the United States. And the country dealt with it. And, and we all went through. It was kind of crazy with the court system in Florida and then the federal courts. But America was resolved in having it completed. And it was completed, and we moved on. So all of this talk about violence and all of this stuff... We ought to just all calm down. The system does work. Part, it of the will reason work. The, part of the reason the system worked in 2000 was because Al Gore conceded. He has since said that he kind of wishes he hadn't done that, that maybe he handed it away by doing that. Do you think either of these candidates will concede if it's close, if it looks where we're down to, I don't know if you still count hang chads at this point or how, how we figured this out, but... If we're still in that sort of a scenario like that, do you think it will be a gracious concession by either of these candidates? Well, I sure hope so. But if there's a recount in a certain state, as there were last time, the process will work. We went, as I said, five weeks with the Chad craziness in Florida. And in the end, President Bush won the state of Florida by 500 votes when the count was stopped. OK, so we dealt with it. And there's a process for a recount just because it's very close in by Saturday, let's say, where most of the votes are counted and there is a recount. That doesn't mean there's some nefarious action going on. And I listen to Frank and I know uh, my friend Speaker uh, McCarthy will be on next. There's only one reason that there's any doubt about these things, and that's because President Trump, four years ago, put the doubt in the American people that it was not a fair and free election. And it was, as Franklin said. But you still have people, starting with former President Trump, who will not admit that he lost or the election was a fair and free election four years ago. That's the only there, reason there's any there's of still a narrative. There's still a narrative that Al Gore won, because if you were running things down there, you had two very democratic counties. You had Dade, Miami-Dade, and Broward, and you were harvesting votes. You were going to count them until you won, and that—that's what no. you put the—that's what you put the country through. But thank God the Supreme Court and the courts finally stepped in for no. that, and he had to—he had Joe, to. Con wait, Joe. That, you Joe, were, you're, I you're, remember the people. I was there. I was actually in Florida. I remember the people looking like yes. this, looking up at the chads. Yes, absolutely. Did, that's oh, here's the process. Another Demo here's another Democratic vote. That that didn't we, that country didn't need to go through that and and you know maybe Trump put us through sure. something four years ago but you and David Boys and everybody no. else put us through something back in 2000 too. Joe, that's the process. If elections that close, well, and that you was have the a process recount. in 2020 too. Yeah, but hey, yes, they and were and harvesting and votes. Hey, Joe, they were Joe, harvesting Joe, votes in two every, Democratic every, counties. Every, uh, Joe, every process last time that moved forward with a recount, whether it was in Arizona or Pennsylvania or wherever, all ended up where they started. That was Joe Biden 
won by whatever number it was. It may not have been the exact number when they started the recount. And the process in Florida, in those five counties, and there were five that were challenged, and George Bush won by 500 votes. Would he? The truth of the matter is, if the, there were very few votes left to be counted, hanging chads or whatever you call them, and by the end of that, the odds are George Bush would have still won by probably a few hundred more than 500. That was I the will process. Say, the, the courts weighed in, and right. Al Gore conceded based on what the courts had well, done. He had yes. no choice, yes. obviously. Right. It's just the different. Well, well, the, yes, the well, court the, could have said weighed in. it could continue. Yeah, after the court counting. said stop but counting and stop harvesting. Yeah, and the you, courts you, weighed it, in on the court. I think you would have harvested. If you had kept going, you would have won. If you had kept going. No, that's a lie. That but is absolutely a untrue. Oh, absolutely okay. untrue. Absolutely untrue. That's not true. It, no one was harvesting votes. That word implies people were finding votes. Nobody was calling a count. If you decide a hanging official, chad, a if, no, if you nobody, change it and decide a hanging chad is a Democratic vote instead of it, a vote for it, George Bush, that you can do that. Was, you can no, do that till it, you it, find it, enough. It, there were there were people that were doing Five that weeks. in Joe. in public. In public, Joe. How old were you? In public. How old was I? 20 years? No, no, no. no, no, no not you. I'm frustrated for a different reason. Which, I'm frustrated for a different reason, uh, which is anyway. I think that the public needs to just genuinely know about this particular election, and there is a major distinction, which is that you have somebody who has been out of office, who has not been the president for the past four years, who has continued to tell the public repeatedly and wrongly, right. even up until this weekend, okay. that he should have been, was supposed to be in office, and what, what, uh, what, uh, that, that this election is that this past election was not real. That is a completely different situation. You but can fight way, with but, him about but, but, all you want. And, and challenging elections have, are as yeah, old as time, and it, sure, the, and it was challenged. Not we still it. hear but that I, but we still I'm, I'm hear from Hillary. That, I'm worried that we're, we heard from Joe Biden that the 2016 that, I'm worried is still that the way you're positing it is don't conflating. worry about it. People don't care that I'm positing yeah. it that way. That you're conflating this with that, and it's not the same thing. Bill, hopefully. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, if this no, was an election, ahead. you guys would win three to one. So congratulations. Well, it's not about who you're voting <laughs> for. This is about the sanctity of the election process and hoping there, that we get and, things right. And Which has been questioned. Do you want to see my going all the way back? I, I can show you 2020, 2016, 2012, but all the way back. Challenge the, 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 the red, yeah. when, when you're actually certification challenged by Democrats. I'm not going to do it Bill, because I mean, all the way back you weird, inv some Democrats weird ways invented of, it. There's some pretty weird ways of Democrats of invented it in every state that are determined by the legislatures. So yes. There's some pretty yes. arcane election rules. When you hear about those things. As an outsider, it certainly sounds like, what? This is how they do it? They're, they're, it is a bizarre way that some of these election things go through, and maybe that and, leads and to And we do confusion. it at the county or precinct level in each right. state. And each right. state, when we dealt in Florida, not to go back to that 24 years ago, each county had its own election board. It has its own rules of that election board, and, and they an may be arcane. Stuff. But yeah. it's a local election, basically. These aren't run by the federal government. They're run by our neighbors and our friends at the local level. Not, but both Republican and Democratic.